Welcome to a micro-experiment that has been decided to be done on a whim because I found some extra cochineal and I had some faux indigo to use up. So what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to do a colored shibori with three colors because I have the oak and I have indigo and I have cochineal in a bag somewhere around here. And then this one, I was thinking that we could dye it once and then we could add more shibori ties in addition to these and then put it into the iron bath uh, as well whilst I've got the oak stuff going. We'll put it in the iron bath and see if we can get like extra variations by adding ties in between dye cycles. So that's what I'm thinking. So I will try to video me dipping just one corner of this and then I'll try to let it drip dry, I guess, whilst it's um, doing that. And then we will heat up the other colors in subsequent batches. <laughs> this can't possibly go wrong. Well, anyway, we're going to try it. Okay, for a mini unique shibori experiment, we are going to put this big piece of silk in there to go for a minute. And then I'm going to take... I was reaching across to the other counter. I'm going to take this guy and do just one corner and hold it here until I can't anymore. And we'll see if we can get a cool three color pattern because that sounds fun. I have the fake indigo heating beside us as we speak. So I will update you as we get to the next steps. What's that horrible noise, you ask? It's the sound of that pot when it boils. I wish I could tell you why it makes that terrible sound. It's not even boiling, but it, it makes that sound when it's heat stressed. Anyway, we're going for corner number two on weird shibori in multicolor. I don't know. We're trying things. It's an experiment. I don't know what I did expect, but I'm like, wow, that's bright. Erica, what? You're dunking it into blue stuff that's been sitting out strengthening itself for three months. Of course it's going to be weird. Um, well, it's a nice contrast. I'm sure adding hot pink will help. Oh god, I probably should dip this one side into iron so that it doesn't get, like, very yellow, blue, red. We don't need primary colors. Although that is kind of funny. All right, well, we'll see. Okay, now that this one is touchably cool, Ooh, sort of. Um, I'm going to add a bunch of bands uh, and then throw it in the iron water bath. And then we'll uh, see what happens. It could be bad. It could be good. I haven't seen anyone try this, but I also didn't look that hard. So going by the seat of the pants as usual. Okay, so we have re shiboried this on top of it's already shibori. And I wanted you to see the cool witchy reaction was this. Ooh. Oh, well, I didn't have as much liquid dye in this one. Oh, there it goes. It's doing the witchy thing. It's making the black swishes. It's just harder to see in the sun. All right, well, we'll give that a minute to sit, and I think I will dip the end of the other one as well, just for kicks. Just want you to see the difference of right when it comes out, and you can almost see it darkening and oxidizing in the light. And these are what they look like after a few minutes. But look at that, you can see it darkening. Burn her, she's a witch. Okay, I quite literally had maybe a total of a teaspoon of uh, cochineal powdered extract, which is stronger than regular cochineal, so I'm not afraid it won't make a color. We might just have to hold it in there a little longer for our three color shibori experiment. But we're getting there, you can see the red dripping off. It does not take much of that stuff. Extraordinary. Uh, the other stuff, oak gall, uh, or not oak gall, but the acorn dye has been transferred to this jar for safekeeping because I could not exhaust it, despite putting many yards of fabric into this tiny little pot. So it's strong. Okay, so the double tied shibori thing totally worked. I'm going to be very careful to just like lay this back into the wash water so that it doesn't bleed on itself. But I'm really excited because that appears to have worked famously. And we've got this like weird chocolate oak tiger stripe thing going. I'm very excited about it. Okay. I mean, surely this can't end terribly. 
Well, we'll find out. Um, okay, here, here we go. Into the... Well, the cochineal is still strong. All right, well, um, my hand's already shaking, so this should go well. This might require a couple dunks. My hands are very tired already from laundering. Here is the last of the cochineal. There's still plenty in there, obviously, as it just dyed that whole corner. This is from another experiment, which we are now adding to ours. It has this beautiful... It's from the oak and iron, and it's got this delicious chocolate brown, but it has way too much white for my liking. So, this is the experiment. Good luck in there. If anything, it'll just move up the browns, I would think. I don't see how this can't improve it. Good luck in there. I will see you in, when I remember to take you out after I'm done washing something else. Bye-bye. Okay, we're having to make fast decision here, why, you ask, because I have this, which came out gorgeous, in oak, which is uh, our double, triple, just shibori thing. It's hard to see it because it's still wet. However, let me show you what it looks like when you dip that into cochineal. Look at how cool. This is boiling hot. Look at how cool and rich it makes the browns. Look at how cool. Don't you kind of want to see what that one does in it? Just a little? I kind of want to throw it in there. Because look at... Oh God, that's, it's boiling hot. I keep touching it. Look at how cool that made that on the silk. That turned more mauve, but this kept like this true brown. I'm doing it. I'm throwing it in there. You're going with me. We're doing it live. So I won't do this alone. All right. Uh, in, goodbye. Well, what's done is done. I'll, I'll see when that comes out. Look, the universe is casting motherfucking rainbows on my project. It likes it so much. Look at all the rainbows. Look, it just loves it. It loves my chaos. Thank you, Iris, goddess of the rainbow. Yes, her name is Iris also. Look at that. The dye bath must be exhausted. Surely if we put a huge thing of cotton in there, it won't color it. I hate throwing away dye. Okay, you can't tell me that that was not improved by dunking it. I'm just saying. Uh, it's clear that the dye bath was a little more exhausted because this one is very much magenta and this one is very much pink. However, we have three different colors and we can tell that we did not just mordant our fabric with the acorn tannins because it would not accept more dye. It was fully dyed and it did not accept more dye. All of the browns are just preserved perfectly as they were. All right, so we'll look at these when they're dry and let's unravel the terrifying three color one. Okay, I remain absolutely terrified to undo this. I don't know if it was supposed to like penetrate deeper into the folds. I wish I could tell you. I uh, was sort of gonna unfold it, unfortunately off camera because my rig is not here. However, um, yeah. I'm scared, but we are going to, we have to unwrap it at some point. So we're going to do it. Let's do it. We can do it. I can do it. We're doing it together. Okay. Well, that could be worse. Um, I feel like there's still a lot of wasted space, but maybe we'll like remordant this and make some leaf prints. It's bizarrely patriotic. I don't know how to describe it, but I do like uh, the little eight pointed stars we got. So I assume that means you would get that if you dipped one side in it. I'm fascinated that one of the, that the uh, oak penetrated better than the other ones. But either way, I think we'll dry this one just to be fair to it rather than me dunking it back into the cochineal, which is what I've done to every other project. All right, well, we'll see these when they are dry. After editing all the clips for this, uh, I realize I say the word okay as a starter, like a clap, almost as regularly as a clap on a, a camera. So I'm going to endeavor not to do that as often. Anyway, we'll try that. This might be the most beautiful thing I've ever made. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this. Our double shibori tying and exposure to iron and then a redip into cochineal came out great. That is on, I think, Charmousse. It's very shiny on one side and not the other. But I could be wrong. And then this one is Habotai Silk, which really seems to love that cochineal. It took it in really, really dark. It's throwing the light off. I'm trying to like let it readjust to normal. 
light here. But look at how rich these browns are. This is seriously so beautiful. And everywhere that the acorn dye touched, it was fully unable to penetrate it with the cochineal. So that means that we got a really, really good actual dye. We weren't just lightly mordanting it. It was fully saturated with color by the time we dunked it. So that's great. I'm really happy with these. And uh, now we will look at the other ones from our dye experiments. They're just taking longer to dry. Just trying to take advantage of the end of the natural light for the day. But I'm really pleased with uh, just the conceptual outcome of that big one. Could I have done it better colors, better layers? Yes, all of that is accurate. However, it's a really good concept that I think we could elaborate upon in the future. All right, well, let's wait for something else to dry. Okay, so here is everything all dry. This one looks like a little chocolate-covered strawberry that I dropped back into the cochineal. For whatever reason, the Shermoose just doesn't like the cochineal as much. Couldn't tell you why, it just doesn't. Um, the Habotai Silk soaks it up in bright magenta, but this one tends to go a little pinker uh, as though it's on cotton. It might just be the fineness of the weave, I don't know. But we did in fact get three different colors on to here, four if you count the fact that part of it is color changed. I think that if we remordanted this, we could get like a leaf print in all the squares if we wished to. This is just straight cotton, just straight up bubble gauze cotton that makes a lovely like face washing uh, item. Anyway, I think this was a very successful experiment considering it was on the fly. Uh, again, sometimes the cochineal just really doesn't like some of these and it makes the silk look a little unhappy in places which is interesting to me. That doesn't mean they can't be used for lining or even just re-dyed and dumped back into the indigo to see what happens. But we did, in fact, get a result. And I think we did a great job at creating chaos and learning some new stuff. I hope I have earned your like or subscribe today, and I would be very honored if you would hit one of those buttons below. Or if you'd like to see this happening live and chat with me all day, you can join my Patreon where we have a very rousing uh, group chat. Anyway, I invite you to come hang out with me in all the other contexts that you can, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!